Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution Triassic Tours. Now for <coughs> sorry. For today's tour, we are going to be looking at our Isla Matanceros Park that we have been working on for the Return to Jurassic World series. So, with you knowing what park it is, let's begin. Oh, thank you. You've seen how it's been built, but you haven't seen it in the eyes of a tourist. So, first we'll walk along the path, and we won't take um, this monorail right now because it's where the um, security facility is. Okay, guys, so first we'll, so now we'll just go this way, and we'll take a look at the guest area over here before we take a look there. So if you just um, turn and take a path here, or even over there, you will come to our first um, guest area with um, some bathrooms, restaurants, and right in the middle a little um, resting area for the trees. Get some shade outside. But now we go on to the circle, which um, you'll get to see a better look of it when we go up. But if we go this way, you'll we'll go on to our first enclosure. No, she didn't want to. Our first enclosure being the um, the river um, area, which has Camarasaurus, Triceratops, and right over there, some Edmontosaurus. Now there's two viewing areas, of course, the one that's over here, behind these trees, and then one on the other side. Going around, you can stop by your hotel, make your reservations, you know, that usual stuff. Watch out for the people who aren't wearing masks with the whole pandemic going on. Jeez. No wonder Jurassic World was such a failure. More viewing areas for this enclosure, but we'll go on to that after we finish this side. So another ri smaller ring to go to this hotel. But we'll go up left, and we'll see the first dinosaurs introduced to this park. The Ceratosauruses, with, um, Br Bruton, Troy, and, the uh, Billy, I believe, is the name of this one. I know Bruton is the Savannah, because it's, it's a classic. And if you just look up there, you can see some of our, um, security stuff. Gotta put more trees there, then. You shouldn't be able to see that. But now we will go around the ring the long way, to make this tour more interesting, of course. And then we shall go- oh yeah, of course, little guest area here. Collect your fossils, which, by the way, I want to say, it's kind of weird when you look at it this way. In the real world, fossils can cost thousands to millions of dollars. Here, you can get a t- you can get a T-Rex, um, tooth or- a raptor claw for like five bucks. Ah, uh, if only Jurassic World then existed, then I could get every single one. And here for the massive enclosure, which is I titled the sanctuary, the herbivore sanctuary, which it is because it literally has herbivores and it's like one, probably my favorite enclosure here, which it houses. The smallest sauropod, Nigosaurus, to the one of the biggest, not the biggest because of Menchusaurus and Dronotus, the but the Brachiosaurus, majestic. And if you look over there, some Nasutoceratops and the Homalocephale, which interestingly in my episode three of Return to Jurassic World series, I was originally gonna have um Wyangosaurus. However, because I couldn't um have the um, theaters w to balance out um, all of them without affecting them. I had to make it so that it would only be for the um, 
no pseudoceratops because the rotten wood doesn't affect um, pachycephalosaurids or sauropods as of now. It's such a shame, but you know we make do. And it go and this enclosure is like fully outstretched. It curves all the way along this massive river, which we'll go down to, all the way to take a tight turn all the way to a few more all the ways to this little land area where you will see a another group of homalocephalae hopefully that they should up oh, there's one eating from jumped on the feeder i'm pretty sure these ones are designed just for them and i had to split the groups of homalocephalae up because the, apparently they aren't happy with them more than 20 dinosaurs, which is a little strange considering wouldn't they be happier in a bigger group for safety reasons? Where'd, where'd he go? I, I've lost him, guys. Oh well, we lost him. And then if we go up here, we'll go um, this way. If we go back here, we just curve around to Oy, 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 this is a long path. Once you get over here, you get a nice view. But then you get the viewing towers over here, and then we'll just cut through because I don't think it connects until you get to the other side. You get a sort of main street of um, facilities with, of course, the scenery trees in the middle because you can't have it all be concrete. And then... After you make your hotel reservations here, or somewhere, please guys, you gotta pick a spot. There's only, um, five hotels, I think. One, two, three. Nope, there's four. Okay, there's four hotels, guys. You gotta make reservations somewhere. But here is where the kings are. The Albertosaurus enclosure. Which, I thought it was fitting to have, um... Redwoods here because most people tend to believe Tyrannosaurids are in a redwood area in the dress franchise anyway. Like even though Rex is on a tropical island, her enclosure of dress world was with redwood trees. If you didn't know, is that? But I decided to go with their smaller relatives, the Albertosaurus. Which one thing that I like of how I designed this enclosure is if we go over to here. You can see that I have a little dirt area here with um, the feeder up there. And I placed it like this so that when they run up there, they'll always um, run through here. Which is a little unique feature because they can't go through the trees and stuff for some reason. I don't know why. But it just gives it that little more um, realism because then the dirt makes sense here because they've been trampling over going back and forth just a little detail i wanted to show and with that that is oh, oh god i almost faced their tree with that that is it for um isla matanceros four episodes of building on this island and we have created a five star beauty i'm pretty sure it's still five stars it's it definitely has the dinosaur level and now we shall lift off. Oh yeah, first let's um, uh, 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 let's get all the way to the Jurassic World thing because I promised to show you guys it. Which yes, many of you will realize that I said that I was gonna change it, but you know what? I think I'll keep. I decided to keep it because why not? It is Jurassic World, so if we zoom out, oh no no. If we zoom out like that, nice little, um, walkable area. I was thinking maybe I could connect a p pathway on the, like, ends of the letters, but then I think it would just look real weird. And if I did it only on one of the bottom corners of the W, it would definitely look weird. And if I did it on all of them, especially for the W, the water level would just go bye bye so I decided to keep it like this but let's um zoom out and then you guys can see 
the beauty. And there it is. So yeah, up in the corner is all my research stuff, power stations, all that jazz. And I think this was a really successful park. If you ever want to do like the campaigns again or stuff and turn them into five stars, definitely um, Matt and Saros is like the easy. It's basically sandbox with the only exception is you have to still follow some of the rules like population, social, and power. Other than that, it's it's basically sandbox guys on this island. Like literally I had no problems except for when I discovered the homalocephalae weren't happy. And once I fixed it, they nothing was happening. Nobody was breaking out. And it was a it was a beauty. So Guys, that ends this Triassic tour. I was going to say Tour Tuesday, but no, that's Evolution Square's thing. Um, but if you've enjoyed this tour and want to see more tours like it, because I've got plenty of parks to show you, plus four more technically once we start working on the other islands, which episode um, five, which will be on Isla Muerta will, of Return to Jurassic World, will be on... S shortly probably the day after i upload this one who knows i may have to be a little late on that but if you've enjoyed this video leave a like be safe and until next time oh yeah if you want to join the hunt hit the subscribe button and be safe and until next time i'll see you later Bye bye